Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. Today's beverage is <sighs> very nice. That is Cream Earl Grey. It's also very hot as well, so ow. Anyway, in the previous couple of videos, we were messing around with the planes. This is still the beta, so a 9.2 B3, as you can see from the left here. And we're messing around with the biplanes and the triplanes, and we made a couple of carriers, made a couple of ground based stuff, and it was interesting. But one of the things we haven't messed around with and built with yet is Airship Editor, the Bomber. There you go. So you actually have a fairly big bombing vessel. So uh, advanced aircraft requires the bonus advanced aircraft. So in single player, you know, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare to get or might be. Houses a single bomber aircraft, which is... Well, I don't know. I've never I've never actually used this before. So we're going to make a carrier of sorts. And it's going to be um, probably just a very, very, very small vessel that's going to be, I don't know, maybe that size there, and then we're just going to stack multiples of them and see what it's like. So, we're going to have four bombers in a row, and then obviously we do need some, um, well, way to move around, so we'll have a corridor that just goes straight across like so. On the front, we will have a, probably a couple of rifles like that. Actually, what we'll do is delete those, we'll put them like that, and then we'll have a ammo store. No, probably, no, I don't need a big ammo store. We'll just go for a, we'll go for a small ammo store, so we'll have it's in resources here, and then small ammo store, one and then two. We could actually have cannons instead of, instead of, uh, that we'll probably have cannons actually. Hang on, so it'll be in weapons, cannons, bombers. I wouldn't mind a dorsal turret, but the problem with that is, as you can see, it's uh, you get a bit of an issue when it comes to placing it because you can't place it there, but you can place it there. I find that a bit strange, a bit of a bug. Although, I've just thought of something here. What if we have that turret there? That turret there, <laughs> and then we have some guns on the front. That could work. Like that. And we'll have a really big <laughs> front end. You know what? It's so insane. I think we're going to go with it, to be quite honest, because... There's something about that that makes me smile. <laughs> right. Okay, we'll stick with that. We'll see how it goes. It's probably going to blow up. Right. So on the back, we need some way of pushing this forward. So we need to go propulsion. And we've got engine pods. We've got large propeller. We've got propeller. We're just going to go with the propeller. Um, we'll have the propeller on the back like so. And actually, how do we do this? Uh, we'll probably have it back a little bit more like so because we'll put a coal star in. Actually, we're going to have to have multiple coal stores, so you know what? We're going to delete that, and we'll have a propeller like so. So, I'm guessing you can't have an engine pod. Or a large propeller, rather. Well, you can have a large propeller if you really wanted to. Like that. Yeah, it's uh, it offsets that quite nicely, so we'll have that. Okay, fine. So, that's our propulsion. It's going to be quite quick, then. It's also expensive already. But we'll need some coal stars, so we're going to put a coal star. We'll delete a lot of this because we're just going to put the coal stars directly underneath. Obviously, it's not going to be the most structurally sound vessel in the world, but if it's getting shot, then we're doing something wrong anyway. So we'll have a coal star there, we'll have a coal star there, and then what we'll do, we will have in, it'll be structural fire door. We'll get rid of those. And then we'll have a fire door between all of these like that. We should really have a fire door. At the front here, but um, but we don't. So moving on, right? So we've got those put in. We do need some way of get, keeping this up in the air because that's primarily the way you um, uh, don't don't lose. Uh, so we'll have that there and that that there. Service ceiling is 128 meters. You know what? I think that's about right. We don't need much more than that. Actually, we only need about maybe 50 or 60 meters. But by the time we put the other stuff on, it'll probably be uh, probably around the sort of 120 meter. No, it's 120 now, so it'll probably be around the 60 meter once I start clamping armor onto this thing. So there's our bombers. We have not yet got crew. We don't have any supply hatches and we can't give commands to the ship. So what we'll do is we will delete uh, these bits. You know, I am going to put fire door in. I'm gonna I'm gonna redesign this front end just a little bit, just because it's uh well it's not very well designed to be quite honest with you. Um so we'll delete all of them. And what we'll do is have fire doors all the way around like so. 
And we can't place that one there. Why can't we place that one there? Oh, it's because that's where the bomber is, right? The bomber's actually all the way around like that. Um, do you want to move this all forward by one? No, I really don't. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to have to replace that. Hang on. Ventral turret like that. Okay, there we go. Right. That's fine. It's not fine. We can't go around. To go up to there, you're going to have to go across and around, which is... A bit of a problem. Um, we could actually simply move it forward like this. It's not a big task, actually. Because when you right-click, you uh, delete the part, but you also pick it up. You can do that. And then there you go. You're in. Job done. Right. Uh, to get to that one, there's a bit more of a problem as well. So we're going to do that. And then we are properly done. Right. That's fine. Okay. So we need... We need some crew, which we will have in the front and the back. Actually, what we do need as well, and probably probably best to actually shift these along. We need a fire we need a fire suppression system. And we're gonna put it in here. So that's gonna be our fire suppression system there. Um, obviously we haven't got any fire doors between that and the fire... Do you need fire doors? I, I would have thought that a thing that's f just literally made of water practically, well, contains loads of water, you wouldn't need fire doors, but I'd rather be safe than sorry on that one. So we'll go for resources, fire point. There's our fire point. So all of that's fairly secure, I believe. And we've got fire points all the way across here. It's going to be fairly resistant to fire, this thing, but not actual gunfire. Um, the Bernie Bernie fire, it's okay, I think. The other stuff, not so well. Right, so we'll have... It'll be... Command and crew quarters, 1-2. Um, it says recommended crew 29, air sailors uh, 24. So we'll put one in the front and back like that. And then that was, that was pretty much covered. Let's so put those doors in. And then what we'll do... We'll have to think of what we're missing out on. So we haven't got supply arches. We haven't got uh, bridges. We haven't got a bridge. So we'll put a bridge in there. And we'll also put in a sick bay just below that. And then next to it, we haven't got a machine shop, have we? Or anywhere to repair? We don't, but a machine shop is far too big to really fit in here. So we'll go for just a simple repair bay. I think I'll have them like that. It seems to fit a bit better. Um, and then we need um, probably more ammo stores. Looking at the front of this thing, we'll probably need more ammo stores. It would be nice. What I might do then is pull them back. Do we have a large ammo store? Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Delete those. We'll have a proper ammo store in it. And then walking around is actually quite easy. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Um... So we'll delete those, move them forward, move them forward, and then we've got just the we've got the repair bay in. We've got the we haven't got a fire point near the front. Fire point near the front would be a good idea. What I'm gonna do is place that in there for now, just to keep it. Move that along. Put the fire point in like so. Put the fire baffles in, and then like that. Okay. And we are just shy of a cargo door, which is now in. And we are pretty much good to go. In terms of service ceiling, it is 54 meters, which is about what we said we're going to be on. About 60, I said, I believe. And the only thing we're missing out on is troops. So we're going to go for guard barracks. There. Okay. So air sailors. Our recommended crew is 38. We've got 48. Yeah. We are pretty much sorted. In terms of armor, it's simply wood. If we had it as steel armor, we would be on the ground 20 meters. Not big enough. Not big enough. Re so it's going to have reinforced wooden armor, perhaps? Nope, that's even worse. Wood armor, then. It's going to be wood. It's going to have to be wood. And that is... About it. So, decoration. But, a. Uh, um, round lawn, maybe there, like that. Then we'll put the mouth on. I do want to move the, the roundel to there. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what we want to do. 
and we'll have a nameplate, and we'll have the nameplate near the midsection, so about here. It's called the Toad at the moment, but we're not going to have that. Although it is going to be um, named after, I think we're going to call it the Hammerhead or something, because it, you know, it's got a hammerhead on the front. So it's the generic airborne vessel, Gav. It's the Hammerheadington. Yeah, I think we're about right. Save the design. Save that. Um, looks like everything's okay. Three grand it costs, so don't know if that's expensive, but let's see what it's like. So we'll go to a nice uh, day. We're going to add airship, and we'll have it as the Hammer Headington. So we're just going to have the one. There we go. It's 3,051, so add airship on the other side. In terms of that cost we've got a subington mark 2 which is just a little bit cheaper so we're going to put one in there and let's see who wins i have a feeling it's not going to be me okay let's start this one so bombers are launching bombers away oh Okay, I might revise my estimate here, because them bombers are very powerful. Also, my cannons are firing away. Uh, you can see that actually... Oh, God. Pause. Let's move back over, because he's going for a ram here. There we go. I've got cannons firing. My um, ventral... Is it dorsal? The one at the bottom's fallen off, which is never good. Uh, there's a plane falling out of the sky, as you've just seen. And there's another one. Bang. Okay, there's another one. Bang. Um, right, they have air superiority. And, yeah, I think I've lost because I cannot beat him. The only Actually, what I can do, I'm, I'm pretty quick. This thing's quick. I can zip past him. Straight past, like that. The cannon is still firing on the top because of where it's pointing. And then we get to where we're going and then we spin round. Because this thing is fast. And hold it, spin round, and then we can fire all the cannons again. So these are fairly evenly matched, actually. Oh, God, I'm running out of ammo. Um, right. Aimed fire, then. Where's he going? Down the bottom there. There is another solution if I run out of ammo. Although I've just taken all of his propulsion off. And he's got no front guns. He's only got flak. One and two flak there on the Subington. Yes. But only six ammo left. Right, there's only one thing for it. Ramming speed. <laughs> Here we go. If I can chip the top weapons off, I win by default. Damn it, just missed it. <laughs> oh, okay, well, that that's pushing it. Victory, though. Um, it's a mobile. Because I took all of this... Um, I took all the engines off it. Excellent. Okay, right. This is good. Come back once more. Let's try that again. In the day. Airship. We'll have it as the Hammer Headington. And we'll have one, two, three, four. A versus a one, two, three, and four. There you go. And contact. Yeah, it's a lot of that's oh yeah, that's a lot of bombers. And um Oh look at that fleet. Fleet of bombers. I mean you still can't control them, which is Something I think is a huge oversight. Um, I mean, look at the bombs that they're dropping. Look at that! Yeah, that is definitely a lot of bombers. Um, and they are doing the numbers. So yeah, en masse, these things are good. And also, the reason why they are so powerful at the moment is there's nothing to shoot them down. I have got flak. I haven't got guns. Uh, oh, God, this is going to be... Oh, the God, the front end's going <laughs> to... I saw it getting chipped apart. I thought, hang on, something's going to happen here, and it's going to be quite brutal. Oh, look at that! There's only the only thing keeping the front and back together is the uh, the airstrip. Yeah, the reason why none of these are falling out of the sky is I don't think anything can shoot it. I think only flak, um, machine guns, and rifles and stuff like that can actually t uh, actually attack the the fighters and the bombers. So all these big cannons, they just nothing can target it. So all we're going to do is we're just going to bomb the living hell out of each other. Like, that's... just... 
the honest truth of it, I think. But look at the devastation they cause. I mean, we've got what? How many how many's on each one? Four? Sixteen bombers in the air? That's sixteen bombers in the air. Every time they do a pass, look at all the bombs that get dropped. <laughs> and obviously on a target like this, which is not very armoured. Oh god, there's the back end just falling off. Uh, they're not very armed armoured, so yeah. Oh god, I hope that thing's not gonna split in half. Oh, it's close. It's close to getting split in half. <laughs> Outside view. You can see, um... Yeah, the devastation is fairly horrific, isn't it? So, I think... I think the rule is, if you're going to use a lot of bombers... You probably need to wait and fire all of your guns to try and soften up the target to make sure the flak's gone and then you go in. Oh, but you can't because the bombers always launch. Urgh! This is what I was saying. You need a way to control the bombers or the, and, the, and the fighters. Because there's so many tactical options that are just that elude you because you don't have the ability to say, look, don't launch a second after we start the thing. Well, I'm going to leave that one um, because what I want to try once more. Uh, actually, we will have it as a rainy day. We'll have airship and we'll have the I'm heading to one two three four and we're gonna go to building and we're gonna be against the black wall because why not um, I'm on 12,204 he's on 11,929 black wall being well it's a monster um, it's a monster blowing itself up. Like, the idea when we made this was to have just a huge wall that nothing can get past. That's the point. Um, and then you've got cannons, cannons, cannons. Actually, I think these might be miniguns. I'm not entirely sure. But either way, um, actually, there is a way to find out. We can move to our side. And we can see that... Nope, no, it's just, just batteries of cannon. Right, fine. <laughs> batteries of cannon. Um, so there's the black wall. Um, actually, we'll put it as cl far. We'll put as close to the front as we can. So it's got cannon all over it. On the top, it's got a little bit of flak, six flak, which is probably going to do us in. And then all of these bits here, all of these are actually gaps for uh, the ex for the inevitable explosion because this and this, these are like caissons full of ammo. And if one of those goes up, this is supposed to absorb it and stop it spreading to the next one. And it doesn't entirely work. <laughs> so. You know, there's that. Either way, let's click start and let's see what happens. So there's the fire coming out from the black wall. Obviously, the first thing you'll notice is just how much devastation it can cause in one volley. Look at that. This, I mean, the black wall really does. Really does. Wreck. But it does have one weakness. It's got the Death Star weakness, you know. It should be, on paper... Almost invincible. It's got the heaviest armor. It's got apparently a bit that's now chipping down the side, as you can see, just slowly going down, chipping away. Although the frame rate's getting chipped away in due course as well. Um, yes, so we've got all these guns, all this flak. It can't be bored because we've got people that guard it. But when you hit that one little bit, when the farm when the farm boy turns up with a hope and a dream, and a weird old man tells him what to do. He then is able to destroy it. You get one lucky shot and boom, the whole thing lights up. Like a candle. And as you can see now, what's happened is we've taken the... We're, we're chipping it down from the top with all the bombers, right? So they're just taking it down, taking it down, taking it down. All the flak is gone. Nothing else can shoot them. So they're just going to be going back and forward, back and forward. The only thing that will defeat them is lack of ammo because they won't be able to go back to their home base. And... Oh, I actually realise I'm running out of ammo. Let me click on that and say... Um, we could say hold fire, but no. Oh, hang on. I think, yeah, I think it's late. Yep, it's late. Um, I can tell because the frame rate's gone. Yep, there you go. What happens is a bit of the top falls off and then it uh, starts collapsing in on itself. And then what you're left with is a, <laughs> what you're left with is a crater uh, on the vulnerable floor that can't be like dug any further. And we've won victory. And what I was saying is that the way you can lose this one is that the planes... That's a bit damaged, isn't it? 
<laughs> the planes can run out of ammo and then they've got nowhere to land because the ships are being destroyed. But we did win that. Anyway, that is a bit of airship. That's a little bit of airships. That is the bomber. I think it's pretty cool. Actually, that bomber is very, very nice indeed. I like the fighters. I like the bomber more. I think the bomber is... Uh, well, one of our best designs in the game was always the high-level Zeppelin, the Zeppington, and the Zeppington Mark II, which was a high-level bombardment vessel. You sit above it and just bomb, 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 bomb. But this now you can sit right at the back with a carrier and just launch. Um, if I was going to redesign that bomber, I'd probably take all the guns off the front. I would probably take all the guns off the front. I would have it as just a stand, just a carrier. Yeah, I would redesign the carrier so it would just be a carrier, really. It wouldn't be a weapon system like we've got it now. I'd take all the front stuff off, probably have a couple of flak, just in case, they for a bit of defence, and uh, probably do it that way, yeah. Anyway, that has been a bit of airships, as I said. Links in the description so you can check it out yourself. This has been uh, the beta uh, 9.2 B3 beta 3. So by the time you watch this, it might even be up to B4. It might even be released to uh, released out yet because I'm recording this earlier in the week. Either way, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.